Hi Hoopers, welcome back to the Shoe Sayer. Today we're taking a look at the AC12s, the regulars. These are one of the best shoes I've tested this year, right up there with the Antakai ones. And we're putting these up against the All City 12 Encore, which is the successor to the regular 12s. Um, so we're gonna make this video a bit quicker than usual. We'll just go over the main points and see, you know, which shoe fits better for each category. All right, let's jump in the video. All right, so jumping straight into performance and starting with cushion. These two shoes have a very similar cushion implementation. First, you have full length boom, which is very nice and bouncy. Uh, also, you have these soft side pieces and also the soft rear piece in the AC12 Encore, which give you that stability and also that cushion because they're softer, so you still get a bit of compression in the heel, even with those side pieces in there. Also, internally, you get this regular ortholite insole, and of course, you have your strobo board. In the case of the regular AC12, the strobo board, if you look through that, you can see that right underneath the strobo board, you have your plastic torsional plate top loaded. So this is great for stability, and you do feel bouncy even with it there, but if you compare it to the AC12 and Core, where you don't have that top loaded um, plastic piece, the instep cushion is way better here in the Encores than in the regular 12s, just because you don't have that plastic piece. So of course we're gonna nitpick here because these shoes are both great. Uh, so that's one thing where the Encore beats the regulars in terms of the cushion. And then secondly, you see here the traction pattern, the outsole of the Encores is actually the CGU type outsole. So it's a new compound that they use in most of their uh, latest shoes and it is soft to touch, right? So you can see that the pattern itself, the outsole itself is soft, right? So I can, I can compress that, right? So the outsole in a funny way adds to the cushion, right? So it's softer here compared to the AC12 regulars where it's just tough, solid rubber, right? So at the end of the day, the traction here, the outsole here adds to the cushion. So because of that, I would say overall, the cushion setup in the Encore beats that in the regular AC12s. In general, both shoes are great for guards because you have that boom cushion, which gives you that softness, that rebound, and also you're, you still feel low to the ground in terms of you know making quick adjustments, changing direction, and also just having better court feel. So great shoes for guards in both scenarios. Okay, moving on to traction performance. For these shoes, they're both great on a clean court. However, on a dusty court, the Encores pick up a lot more dust in comparison to the AC12 regulars, which actually bite through dust relatively well. Also, in terms of traction durability, uh, right, you have the Encore, which is on the thinner side, and also the grooves are on the shallow side. So if you're playing outdoors, I would definitely suggest you go with these guys, the regulars, because they have thick, deep, and tough grooves, right? So you probably want to go here. These do better in terms of traction durability. Now, when it comes to stability, I would put these shoes on the same level. Uh, they both have an internal TPU heel counter. They both have plastic torsional pieces. In the regulars, you have it on the side here. And of course, it's also in the middle of the shoe. On the Encores, you see it clearly on the side and also you can see it peeking through the bottom of the shoe. In addition to that, you have other plastic support pieces. In the regulars, you have your side wall, which gives you that lateral support and also extends all the way to the hind foot and part of the medial side. Uh, similarly, in the Encore, you have that plastic beefy heel support uh, that's also soft and also cuffs the back of your foot, both on the medial and the lateral side to give you extra support. And then, on the Encores, you have the outsole wrapping up uh, into the midfoot to lock your foot down. You also have something similar here with this white outsole piece sort of coming up here to give you that extra support. You can see that on the lateral side and also on the medial side. So in terms of support and, and just stability, they are both great performers. You would have no problems striding up and down, changing directions, getting to your spots in any of these shoes. So I would put them on the same level. In this category. All right, so moving on to comfort and starting with fit. These fit very well. Um, if I did have to nitpick, I would say that initially when you 
get the Encore 12s, you have to break them in. So your midfoot, on top of your midfoot, especially where this leather starts, you're gonna have some discomfort there. And when you play in them for about an hour or so, then it's gonna become looser. So initially you get that discomfort here, but you have no problem in the forefoot because it's wider than the AC-12s, which is something that I do like. However, just out of the box for the AC-12s, you don't have any of that discomfort in your midfoot. And also if you have a narrow foot, you're more than okay with this last in the front of the shoe. So overall, I would say that um, for both shoes, out of the box, the AC-12 regulars are definitely more comfortable than on the on course which you have to break in all right so moving on to which of these shoes is easier to put on or take off the answer to that is the regular ac12 so looking at both of them you can see that the ac12 regulars have more room to put your foot in in comparison to the on course right so it's not a huge deal but of course we're nitpicking because these are both two great shoes so the winner of that battle would be of course the regular ac12s okay so in terms of breathability these are both very breathable shoes, so I'm sure you can see the mess just draped all around uh, the shoes. However, um, the Encores are more breathable, in my opinion, than the regular. So the regular, you can see there's a lot of mesh, but what happens is if you look inside, it's almost like a double layer, right? So the, your air has to go through this one layer before it goes through the mesh. So that reduces the airflow uh, throughout the shoe. Still not hot, but it's still not as good as the AC-12 on course. So the on course, the air goes straight through. So you can see if I put my hands through there, you can see my hands on both sides uh, because there's nothing else obstructing it. So in terms of airflow, um, you also have this perforations on a pillbox, not also the most functional, but you don't have anywhere for air to leave the pillbox in the AC-12s really. So overall, the on course are better in terms of breathability. All right, finally on the comfort, we're gonna look at weight. Now these shoes are both extremely light, but the Encores are slightly lighter than the regular All CD 12s. So the Encores win that battle here. Now moving on to design and aesthetics. Uh, for visual appeal, so which shoe looks better um, on a basketball court? Strictly on a basketball court. So I personally prefer the Encores. I think they look cleaner and they just look more you know, effortless to me, but let me know in the comments which shoe looks better to you. Also, in terms of style versatility, I would definitely, especially this colorway, man, I would definitely rock these in jeans and in sweatpants and whatever, in shorts. I can definitely see myself wearing these, you know, just going anywhere really with these. Um, for the regular AC-12, I do really like them. I can also wear them out, but I would probably want to keep them mostly on the court. So in terms of style versatility, I would say that the Encores win. But do let me know in the comment section if you think otherwise and let me know what you would rock these with uh, and where you would go with any of these shoes. Okay, now comparing these two shoes in terms of which one is more innovative, of course this was made after so maybe that should go without saying. However, they have very similar setups. Um, I would say that the thing that is more innovative about the Encores compared to the regular AC-12s is this traction because this traction has that dual purpose of being a traction element but also being a cushion element because as I mentioned before it is soft right so you know that's why we penalize it for durability but it does actually help with the cushion so having that dual purpose traction and cushion element I think that was pretty innovative but otherwise everything is sort of like the same so this still gets the leg up on innovation so lastly, under design and aesthetics, we're gonna look at materials. Now, very good materials for both of them is mostly fabric, synthetic, and mesh in the regular AC-12s. And then in the Encores, you have fabric, and then you have some synthetic, but it's mostly leather. So you have leather here in the forefoot, and then you have leather here just lining the heel counter. And then you have the mesh here. This mesh is this fabric sort of mesh. Then you have a little bit of synthetic right here, which is for extra support and durability. Uh, but overall, the materials on the Encores definitely feel more premium to me than what you have in the regular AC-12. So in terms of materials, this wins. Okay, so finally looking at price, um, the Encores are definitely newer. So when they do drop in retail, we can expect them to be at least 10 to 20 bucks more 
expensive than the regular AC12s. Now that's not a huge difference, but we are nitpicking and because the AC12s are already one of the top performers in 2024, um, if you can get it for 20 bucks cheaper, then of course, it's definitely a steal. So for this section, which is a price section, affordability section, the AC12s take the win. All right, there you have it. I hope I've been able to provide you enough information to make a purchase decision between these two shoes if you want to get either or. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing, watching the video, all the support in the comment section. I want to keep this as short as possible. So if I haven't covered anything, you want to chat, just let me know in the comment and we can go back and forth in the comment section. Um, also, I am playing in the Wade 808 for Ultras and the Sears Player Only Player One Plus. I want to play in those for a while so I can give you guys the best review possible. But, you know, thank you for all the support. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah. See you guys in the next one. Bye, Hoopers.